This video is based on a Wolfram Alpha demonstration demonstration from the uh, Wolfram Demonstrations project, demonstrations.wolfram.com. And here we're looking at the platonic solids, um, a number of geometrical shapes. The first we're going to look at is the tetrahedron. And we can see here that the tetrahedron's got four faces. We can count them. One, two, three. And if we rotate it, we can see the other one. Here it is underneath it, the fourth. And there it is. So it's got four sides. It's got six edges, right? One, two, three, four, five, six edges. We can make it more transparent so we can see them more clearly. One, two, three, four, five, six edges. And it has four vertices, four um, places where the angles meet. It has one, two, three, and four. And the, the vertex is the sharp point of an angle. These are the legs of the angle, and this is its vertex. So there are four vertices, and this is a tetrahedron. We can change its colors to make it nice and pretty, and we can make it more or less transparent as we wish. Remember, with all Wolfram Alpha demonstrations, you can click the little plus sign here, and that will give you your controls. Our next, let's increase our transparency slightly, shape we're going to look at is a cube. Now, a cube has got six faces. Let's see if we can find them all. One, two, three at the back, and four at the back. One at the top, one at the bottom. So it's got six faces. It's got 12 edges. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9, 10, 11, 12 edges. And it has 8 vertices. Here's one vertex. Here's the next vertex, next vertex, and next vertex. And on the bottom, it's got another 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it has 8 vertices in total. And this is a cube. In a cube, of course, each side is the same length, and all of the angles are 90 degrees. They are right angles right there it is a nice pretty cube okay you can, you can visit uh, the Wolfram demonstrations project and play with this yourself so our next is a dodecahedron I'm going to make it slightly less transparent there we have it it has 12 faces so one two three, four, five, six on this side, and if we turn it round, we'll see that it has six on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so six and six, of course, is twelve. It has thirty edges. We're not going to count them all, but if you wish, you can visit the site and count the thirty edges. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so on. And it has twenty vertices, twenty places where the legs of the angles meet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. And there are thirty of the sorry, twenty vertices. My apologies. Twelve faces, thirty edges, twenty vertices. And this is our dodecahedron. And we can make it slightly more transparent so we can see through it to the other side. When it is transparent, of course, we can count all of the bits in it much more easily. Icosahedron. The icosahedron is a more complex figure. Let's make it less transparent so we can see what's going on. There it is. And this has got 20 faces. So it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on this side. Let's turn it round. And we see it here. It's got five. One, two, three, four, five. And in the central part, if we make it more transparent, we'll see them all. There they are. Right? One, two. There it is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten round the side, and five here, and five there, giving us. 20 faces in total. It has 30 edges, you can count them if you feel inclined. And it has 12 vertices. There's one big vertex where all the angles are meeting up. 
right? And then there's another one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Remember, a vertex is where the lines of an angle meet. This is icosahedron. Right? Nice and pretty. And we can make it completely transparent, and it gets a bit confusing. And we can decrease the transparency so we can just see inside it. It's rather beautiful. Our next is an octahedron. This is a very simple shape. It's two pyramids, really, stuck together, but it hasn't got a base. It's just one, two, three, four. And then we turn it around the other side. Five, six, seven, eight. So it's got eight faces. It's 12 edges. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, easy to count, and has six vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and of course there's only one vertex on the other side. There it is, 6. So, six vertices, and this is an octahedron. So called because it has how many sides? Octo, which means 8. So, octahedron, with 8 sides. And tetra, tetra is Greek for four, tetrahedron, octahedron, ikosahedron, also Greek, 20, dodeca, Greek, 12, 12, and cube um, is a Latin word. And this is got how many sides? It's got six, we would call them faces here, or sides. And those are our platonic solids.